questions and here you go now at the end of the day we need to understand vx line underlay and overlay right and how much extra overhead it is going to put okay let's see that mr burak it is going to be great if you can be on mute please so we have switch Good. one switch two here these are the distribution switches and these are my access switches this host is connected here the server is connected here too right i have three loopback interfaces which i am showcasing on the red right and you all know how the communication is going to happen you must be wondering mr vishnu this is a huge lengthy packet yes absolutely right but let's try to understand this and i think you all understand it except why i have added one more thing which is udp just believe me i am going to explain it in the next board but just try to understand what is going to happen when this host a wants to communicate to host b in the same vlan but we have layer 3 here right we are talking about vxlan encapsulation now so when this host write ping 10.20 what is going to happen first thing first this icmp message will be created suppose this icmp message because it is layer 3 suppose it is created with 1480 bytes suppose we need to put ip header on top of it from here to here it is going to be 20 bytes of information and source mac and destination mac if i do not consider that we have any vlan information so suppose that is the case i have 14 bytes of information here and you all know i would like to send this information or this frame from so host a towards host b you all know that right whatever you are seeing in the red you are actually adding extra suppose if these links were the trunk links there is nothing called vxlan then you all understand that we would be sending only this much of information right 1480 byte of data icmp 20 byte of uh, uh, ip and 14 byte of this if you calculate them it is going to be around 1514 which is a normal packet size 1514 to 1522 if we add frame check sequence on dot one q tag also it is not going to be a problem but now these links are not layer 3 link these links are layer 3 links right these are not trunk link these are layer 3 links if that is the case we need to make some adjustment and you all know what we are adding a vxlan field inside this vxlan field we need to define this vlan and we call that number at vni this number is 24 bit long which means 24 million numbers can be there sorry 16 millions number can be there somebody did the calculation in the group right and then there is a udp header i put on top of it by the way this vxlan header which i am putting here is actually this is 8 byte long this udp is also 8 byte long why i am putting it believe me there is a proper justification proper reason for that but after that you all know that there is some intelligent guy the control plane who will be informing you that if you want to reach to 10.20 the destination you need to send this complete message towards 5.5.5.5 and that is why you are going to put another ip packet right and this ip packet is of 20 bytes long and of course if you want to send it over this interface or maybe this interface suppose we are sending over this interface there are two interfaces one is this one is this one right we are sending it on this one then the source is going to be ccc and the destination is going to be switch one this interface mac address these interfaces are l3 right so you are adding extra mac2 which is of 14 bytes see we would like in the normal circumstances we would have sent only this message 
but we couldn't and that is why we are adding this much of information from here to here if you add what extra overhead you are adding just calculate 14 bytes of outer mac 20 bytes of this ip plus 8 bytes of udb plus 8 bytes of vxlan if you calculate them or if you sum them 20 plus 4 34 plus 8 42 plus 8 50 bytes of information is added as an overhead you want to send this green color information you need to send this red color information on top of it and here is my problem under normal conditions these interfaces can take only 1500 byte of information but now you are sending 1550 byte of information the mtu value is only 1500 how are you going to accommodate extra 50 and here is mr burak suggestions comes into picture now we are into 2023 we can make some adjustment and we went directly to ethernet standard and we say dude this 1500 byte is not solving our problem and ethernet guys were saying but yes when we were in 1970 there was not much data and that is why we created 1500 bytes and that at that point of time this much data was huge and we never thought at that point of time that we are going to be we we, we will be needing more than 1500 byte of information and now that is the case that we need it and that is why now on the standard nexus switches or which are capable of doing vxlan or basically the catalyst switches which are capable of doing vxlan you can configure or sd sdx whatever right you can configure here the mtu value around 9000 believe me if that is the case my problem is solved but now the question arises these servers or these hosts can generate 1500 value right and maybe some technology will be adding 50 60 byte of more information just like vxlan how 9000 right and the answer comes that now the servers are also getting too smart servers can generate now message more than 1500 bytes they can generate 9000 bytes of information they can they can send 9000 uh, bytes of information in a single ip packet believe me but why do we need this much thing right because of this east west traffic which we discussed now the server can have 15 virtual machines running and suppose i want to move five virtual machines from this server to this server from here to here five virtual machines means maybe 50 gigabits of data gigabyte of data maybe right if that is the case if we send 50 gigabyte of data in 1500 uh, uh, unit packets try to understand how many packets will be going uh, will be there right and that is where we need maybe 9000 bytes or uh, the huge information so that packet size can be more if the packet size is more than the, there are going to be less number of packets because every packet is carrying 50 byte of vlan information right if there are more packet we have this less overhead if we have more uh, sorry if we have less packet we are going to have more uh, we have less overhead if we have more packet more overhead as simple as that right so the solution was very simple burak has suggested and people understood it but previously people were not able to increase this 1500 byte and that is why there were so many adjustment fragmentation is there right but now one question should come to your mind and somebody has asked this in hindi class too right what is going to happen mr vishnu it is fine that you are creating your own little network here and inside this network you have configured on all these switches that the empty value is 9000 and that means you can set any number of 
frames right 15 50 information 1600 or maybe more than that without any doubt but what is going to happen if you want to send a message outside this and a normal ethernet or normal router is connected with the normal port which is 1500 if that is the case then it's a problem although this traffic which you see uh, the 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 great or the uh, or the 9000 bytes of information packet you can see between servers right because this is why this is uh, uh, invented for right but maybe sometime if you are sending it out believe me if there is a 1500 bytes of information which is configured mtu value then this router cannot send this 9000 byte packet for sure it has to fragment it that is why the huge traffic whatever is going on with this huge packet should remain inside this if you are sending it be aware that the fragmentation is going to be there for sure